everybody and welcome back to my channel and then this is actually my second time of doing this segment and I actually wanted to call it as like Francis Talks Francis Talks so um, in this kind of segment I will just like talk about anything um, something that is running inside my head um, it's like I'm not an expert about mental health I'm not a therapist and I just want to share to you my opinions regarding to different types of human struggle emotion and different types of relationship may be about your family relationship friendships romantic relationship anything and for today's segment um, I wanted to talk about um, dealing with or how could we think positively despite of the different negative emotions or negative feedback of different people around you or us so I've been living here in Japan for almost five years now as you know for those who watch my previous um, episode about this which I talk about acknowledging my emotions alone versus loneliness um, since I'm a foreigner I've dealt with different types of stereotyping about what foreigner is like and i don't want to th i don't want to think about that um, i don't want to put myself um into the way they'll into the way those people think about foreigners um, what i want to do instead is to filter up my mind I know that every day I've been struggling I mean I'm not the only one who's struggling actually but because most people have their own problems you and I I know while you are listening to me right now you're also thinking of your own problems and how could you solve it now think about this one day for each day that you wake up um, what's the first thing you do? do you pray? or do you immediately fix your bed? check your phone and after you wake up you do your morning routine right? because as for today you know, as we go on with our everyday life, we have this kind of set of routine every single day. Even it's a morning or it's a night or it's an afternoon. So in the morning, you wake up, wash your face, prepare your breakfast, or take a bath, whatever you do. And then after you wake up, uh, and after you go to work, or do whatever you want to finish your tasks for the day, now, here comes some people around you talking something about you. Something like discouraging you. And then, you feel so bad about yourself. It feels like with all the things you do to make you feel successful, to make yourself productive there's one thing or let's say a comment from your co-worker says like oh i really don't like your work it's like a garbage it's like a waste you're you did not do your best and many other things i think some of you who are listening to me right now encountered like heavier than that or worse than that and once you hear those words, you feel like the day shattered so badly and you don't know what to do anymore. 
here's the thing. How are you going to cope with those kinds of emotions? Like all the negative emotions and you feel like so hopeless. You feel like, oh, you're not really good. You wasted your time. So this might be sound very repetitive for some of you guys, but try to filter what you're thinking. Think about the smallest thing that you have right now. It can be food, shelter, air, good health. Something to be grateful for. I mean, that day will be over and the next day is a new day. Maybe you encountered a bad day today, but doesn't mean that it will stay there forever. I mean, if you are going to cage yourself inside a cell that we made by ourselves, we cannot really get, uh, get out from that cage. We will be there forever. And it's our own choice, option, to how to deal with those kinds of bad emotions or bad feelings. And I think the best way to do it is just filter what you're thinking. Just think of the blessings you have instead of thinking of a very single, minute, minute, a very small stuff that affected you fully on a single day. So don't feel bad. I mean, there are good days and bad days. And if you want to cry, go ahead, but make sure not to put all your energy to crying. You can cry, but don't let that crying affect you for a very long time. Don't let that emotion defeat you to be a more productive, effective, person just filter out maybe you have the things that people other people are praying and you're just taking it for granted i mean once the thing will be lost let's say electricity at first you feel like oh i turn on my laptop i am able to charge my phone and then one thing struck you and you did not think about those things and then bad thing happened you run um, your electricity is cut off and then you realize how important it is so you know be grateful don't let negative emotion pull you down I mean yeah we cannot really control our environment all the time. Chances are, we have the options. We can choose. But we really don't have the freedom to choose the outcome. It's not always like you're choosing the best choice. No matter how best the option you chose, doesn't mean that at the end of the day, the result will be a perfect one. It takes different types of factors that will affect the result of your choices. So that's all. Don't be hopeless. There's always a chance. There is something to be grateful for each and every day.